Not Harpo, who it is. Okay, color purple, I love it. Uh, good morning, San Francisco. We got a live look right there. At the Bayfront, courtesy of our Earth Cam, uh, California getting ahead of the curve there. The state is now requiring that all teachers and staff get the COVID-19 vaccine or they gotta submit to that uh, weekly testing. Also, uh, let's uh, head to Atlanta. Hot morning, good Atlanta. The FDA set to approve a COVID booster shot for the immunocompromised Americans. Meanwhile, fifth graders at an Atlanta elementary school back to virtual learning already following a COVID outbreak in school, basically just started last week. Ah, uh, this thing is far from over, everybody. Welcome to Start Your Day. I'm Mike Hill, joined by my man Shannon Lanier. Sharon has the morning off. Shannon, what's up, man? You're looking good today. I like the shiny suit oh, you right like there. That? I'm going to let you know right now. Okay. Off the top, <laughs> it looks... I, I, I thought when I first saw you, I was like, he's getting ready for a puffy video. Like, bad boy, take that, take that, take that. <laughs> but it looks good on you, man. You look oh, Go you. ahead, did you do the little, little, yeah, little shimmy for shake? Like, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm trying to get everybody like up it. this morning with a little shine for them. Give a little shine for them. Yeah, keep on shining, man. Well, thank you for being here this thank morning. It's always, always of course, a big part of the family. Uh, big news, uh, mm -hmm. Sharon, maybe that's what she is today. She has a day off, mm -hmm. but, you know, she's been talking about wanting to get a booster shot. She does not have a, a, a compromised immune system, though. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what's happening. The FDA uh, seem like they're going to be coming out pretty soon authorizing a booster shot for the immunocompromised. Of course, that's cancer patients and anybody that's gone through uh, organ transplants mm -hmm. and those recipients there. Something that is uh, very much needed because uh, according to the stats, according to uh, John Hopkins researchers, uh, the immunocompromised people are 485 times more likely to end up in a hospital or die from COVID-19 compared to the other vaccinated general population people. So this is, uh, this is huge news right now. Yeah, and a lot of people are looking to see what's going to happen because we're talking about 9 million people here that are faced with these immune compromised systems. And so what we're talking about is within the next 48 hours, this could be approved. They're expected to meet mm -hmm. Friday morning to discuss what's going to happen. And we actually have sound from the Surgeon General talking about all of this. Well, we think based on, you know, looking at the trends in the data that it is likely that boosters will be needed for a broader set of the population. What we are trying to figure out right now is the right timing for when to initiate those additional doses and also uh, who those doses should be available to. Look, whether or not boosters or an additional third dose are needed uh, doesn't change the fact that these vaccines work to save lives. They work to prevent hospitalizations. They work to reduce your chance of getting sick in the first place. That's been proven time and time again. It saved many lives already. But they want to get across that they still work just because this is a third shot or a booster shot doesn't mean that they don't work. I mean, even with the flu shot, you got to get that every year. It's certain yeah. you know, shots you right. have to get the tetanus shot. You have to get every 10 years, I believe it is. So these are things that just happen with vaccines where they have to give you an extra boost, especially for those that are immune compromised. It's important that they help boost their immune systems because they're weak and it could also be caused by medication. Sometimes you take medication that causes your immune system mm -hmm. to be a little bit weaker so the vaccines and different things and uh, you're on could actually work to help prevent that so Danny, this is this is the future right you mentioned mm -hmm. uh, the flu shot we i've already said i really believe and i've heard experts say that the coronavirus is probably going to be around mm -hmm. for, for a long time maybe even forever and this yeah. may be something that we talk about just like the flu uh, every year you're taking a shot hey but hopefully by that time once we get things under control this is something that can be uh, something that your doctor can ask you if you actually want to have it. Like they mm -hmm. ask you when you go to your, uh, for your checkup, do you want to get a flu shot? Because we got it under control. The problem is this thing isn't under control yet. We mm -hmm. also understand that the numbers are going up. The hospitalizations are going up. Of course, the deaths are going up here for the people who are not immunized. So we got to mm -hmm. get that number up uh, drastically. But I, I was looking at the research and I just saw it and I talked about it earlier. 485 times more likely to end up in a hospital or mm. die if you are immunocompromised. That is a, a, a startling number, but it's also a positive number because it shows mm. you just how effective this vaccine really yeah. is. So if you're a, a generally healthy person, uh, in good shape, take care of yourself, and you're not immunocompromised, that's even better. That number, we talked about 99.9% .9 of the people who are vaccinated avoid the hospital, yeah. avoid the morgue. Mm -hmm. So that lets you know just how effective 
this vaccine is. Yeah. So we got to get it in more arms. And the problem is, one more thing, the problem is getting the boosters. <laughs> if we need the boosters because the, var the variants are going up, that lets you know we might be getting even more behind the curve because we still yeah. have nearly 50% of those eligible, 50% of the country still not vaccinated. They have not had one shot yet, and we're already talking about going on our third. Yeah, that's so true. And some of those people that aren't vaccinated may be pregnant women, but the CDC says they now recommend that women who are pregnant mm -hmm. to actually get the vaccine. And part of this research behind this, they did a study with 2,500 women who are pregnant, and they say basically pregnancy in and itself means that your immune system is lower because also you got to think you're carrying another life in you. And so they say it does not increase the risk of miscarriages. In fact, if you get coronavirus while you're pregnant, you could have a higher increased risk of preeclampsia, stillbirths, preterm mm. births, and you're you're actually 70 percent more likely to die in the situation where if you get coronavirus and you're put on a ventilator, it could be detrimental to the mother. So that's why they're now saying and encouraging women who are pregnant to get the vaccine. Also, it could also help protect your child with inside because, you know, whatever the mm -hmm. mother takes, the child gets. So this yep. is, you know, yep. so important because I remember so many people were afraid to get the vaccine mm -hmm. if they were pregnant because they were afraid of miscarriages or anything like that. But now with this new study, they're saying that there is no need to be concerned about any miscarriages due to the vaccine. And Shannon, you, you, we've talked about this, right? They've done the study. This has been around for a long time. We talked to uh, Dr. Fauci earlier. This is not something that's new. They've been trying to develop this vaccine for a very long time. And once right. again, we have researchers, scientists, doctors from all over the world coming together to, uh, to perfect this vaccine. Once again, it is not a cure it is a prevention measure but we got to get rid of all the conspiracy theories out there and there are plenty of them yes. you see them on the internet mm -hmm. all the time you mm -hmm. see them on online people talking about oh if i take this vaccine it's going to make me sterile there is no proof of that as a matter of fact it has been proven as you just mentioned so so eloquently uh, about how the benefits are for women who are pregnant because right now that is the only way you can actually get those antibodies uh, without your kid getting coronavirus mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. the bodies of kids under 12 years old. Of course, if you're not, you know, you're not breastfeeding, unless you're ice cube, not ice cube, <laughs> but ice C's, the baby's mother. Five years oh, old. you had to go so, there. But anyway, oh, I digress. I'm yeah. just saying, but that, that's it. But if he wants to do that, that's fine. Like, right, but right. I'm saying, like, right. but when you have babies, that's the only way you can get the antibodies yeah. in by breastfeeding uh, those babies and, and, and keeping their immune system and building their immune system up and mm -hmm. taking them away from uh, the dangers of the coronavirus because we've seen the pictures, so many pictures mm -hmm. out there in the video of more and more kids uh, going to the hospital and, mm -hmm. and dying because of this, and we, we got to get it under control. True, and that's why we're going to be spending the morning talking about this and about all the mandates that are out there and all the help that we can get to those kids.